just applied to medical school. Oh my god! I got my first interview invite. <gasps> no! Today is my first medical school interview. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Like, I feel like this dream is like so out of reach. And I'm never gonna get into medical school. Ready for my interview. I'm ready for my interview. is the moment you all have been waiting for where am I going for medical school I am so tired of gatekeeping and keeping this secret from you all because you all have been part of my journey the past two years and honestly you know me I have a big mouth like I can't keep a secret but so keeping the secret keeping this secret from you guys have been one of the hardest things I had to do and I'm just so excited for you guys to finally know so that we can celebrate together but I was debating on if I should put the surprise at the end or the beginning and I decided I'm just gonna do it at the beginning because I hate when I watch YouTube videos and they always say the surprise at the end I'm like can you say it in the beginning so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys in the beginning and then hopefully you all can you know stick around throughout the video and kind of celebrate this huge accomplishment with me so the medical school I'm going to this fall is drum roll Medical school that I'm going to this fall is University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. So your girl is going to the East Coast and I'll be going on a full scholarship. Yay! Now it's time for me to change my sweater to my Pittsburgh sweater. University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine, also known as Pitt School of Medicine. Guys, get ready. Get ready to be tired of this sweater because I'm probably gonna start wearing this sweater in every single video. I'm gonna have so, you guys know me, I'm gonna have so much school pride. I feel so bad for my Long Beach sweater. Like, I'm sorry, Long Beach sweater. You were good, but bye. I'm just so happy. I am so, so happy. And all I can say is thank you, God, because I never, ever, 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 ever thought in a million years that I would be going to this amazing school. Like, Pittsburgh was my outer reach school. I told you guys from the beginning, be delusional. I was delusional through my whole application cycle. And it was just so crazy because all the schools that I was in the school range did not give me interview invites. It was all the schools that I was like out, like out of the range. Like all my outer reach schools were the ones that were giving me interview invites. And it was just really so shocking because I got amazing interview invites to top med. I mean, look, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is a top medical school. I got interview invites from top medical schools, and I am still shocked to this day. I'm like, I don't even know how I got all these interview invites to these top schools, but your girl did. Like, I literally was just applying to these schools for like shits and giggles. I got accepted to so many amazing like medical schools. I, I got three scholarships, including this one. This is one of my scholarships, but I got two other scholarships from amazing places. But in the end, I decided to go to Pittsburgh because that's honestly where I felt like at home at. And it's kind of crazy because I never thought that I'd even go to this school. And that's why I tell people, never say never. People are always like, I will never do that. I will never do that. I will never do that. And then they end up doing that. And that's what I've seen with myself. Like, I'm always like, oh my God, I'll never do that. Oh, am I never gonna happen? And then it ends up happening. So I'm done seeing the world never. I'm done seeing the word never. I definitely want to do a sit down video going more in depth on why I chose Pittsburgh, my application cycle, schools I interviewed at, all that good stuff. That'll probably be my next video. But basically, the main reasons why I chose Pittsburgh was because Everything that I wanted to do, I felt like I'd be able to do it at that school. This school just checked, you know, all my boxes. Going into, you know, the application cycle, I applied to all, like, um, the in-state medical schools, of course. People always, you know, advise you to do that. I did that, and then for all my out-of-state schools, I mostly only applied to schools in the East Coast because uh, I've always wanted to move to the East Coast. <laughs> I know it's crazy. My friends are always like... Actually, all my close friends, like people who really, really, really know me, they knew that I always wanted to move to the East Coast, like from the beginning, like since like high school, unfortunately, in like high school, uh, 
I wanted to go to the East Coast for college. My parents didn't let me because they're like, oh, you're going to get homesick. So I could only, you know, apply to schools in California, which I was really, really sad about. I remember like crying. I was like, I really want to go to the East Coast. Like I want to be in a different like coast. I want to be in a different coast, but I wasn't allowed to. So I was definitely was like, okay, when I apply to grad school, medical school, I'm applying to schools in the East Coast. So I always wanted to be go to the East Coast. One of the main reasons that I always wanted to experience all the seasons as well as the East Coast just always seems really fun to me. Um, I love watching like, I watched Gossip Girl growing up, Sex in the City, all of them took place like in the East Coast, those are my favorite shows. And so I've always just, you know, wanted to move there. And um, when I was applying to like all my out of state schools, not only did I apply to the East Coast schools, but I also wanted to be in an urban environment. And so I wanted to be in the city. Um, I hate driving. I hate driving. I hate being in traffic. I just wanted to be in a walkable city um, where public transportation was really big. And a lot of that's really in the East Coast. If you're from California, if you're from LA specifically, then you will understand LA is not a true city. It's just a bunch of residential areas put together. It's not really a true city. Like our true city would be downtown LA, but you don't want to be in downtown LA. So I wanted to be in a true city as well as I've loved living in California. I lived here for 24, almost 25 years because I turned 25 in September. And I've loved, you know, my time here, but I'm bored. I was bored of LA. I'm bored of it. I went, I, I've been there, done that. I went to college out here. I was just kind of just done and I wanted a change in scenery. I wanted to be somewhere new. I mean, you guys already saw me. You saw, I'm always like in New York. I love New York. Like I'm always in the East Coast. Like I always wanted adventure in LA. I felt like I did everything that I could here. And so part of me didn't really want to stay when I was applying. I was like, kind of like, I kind of already knew in the back of my mind, like I was going to go. Like even my friend Felicia was literally like, when I told her I was going to Pittsburgh, she's like, I'm not shocked. I was like, why are you not shocked? She's like, because you've been saying how much you want to move. You kept saying, I want to move. I want to move to East Coast. I want to move to East Coast. Like before you even applied, you've been saying that. So I'm not really shocked. So I wanted to be in an urban environment and Pittsburgh is a city. It's an urban environment. And what I also like about it is that it's, you get that city like feel, but it also has a cheaper cost of living. So the next thing, right? Not only was Pittsburgh, in like an urban environment but also it was a it had a strong program it's like a top medical school i don't really know it's ranking because you guys know me like i don't really care about like rankings so i don't really know what the ranking is but i know it's a top 20 medical school so i know it's a top 20 i think it's like maybe 10 in primary care and 14 in research i don't, honestly guys i don't even know but look it up yourself it's a top 20 medical school so boom and it had a strong like program like when i visited it during second look i remember going into my second look i was like there's no way because um i already got into stuff to some california school so i was like my uncle's like stay in california it'll be cheaper for you just stay in california and i was like i don't want to stay here it's so expensive like some of the california schools i got stuff to which i'm so thankful for like i'm so so thankful um you know some of them were in high cost of living area like it's so expensive it's expensive area where i was like okay like i would be kind of like struggling and you guys already know me like from some of my videos i talked about how i have money anxiety money's always on my mind and i don't like being a debt i don't like owing people money in that one of my biggest fears when i was applying to medical school and going to medical school was that i was gonna have to be in a tremendous debt Right. So Pittsburgh was in a lower cost of living area, but it was also a top school. And that was like, OK. And it was also a city. And then the third thing was that they gave me a full scholarship. They gave me a full scholarship that literally changed the whole game. I was like, I felt like my calling, like God wanted me to be at Pittsburgh because literally it checked all my boxes. Like the only thing I would say was that it was just far away from home. But sometimes I realized like I needed to step outside my comfort zone and leave like and I'm willing to do that. But it was like I, I can't just stay in California for the rest of my life. Right. Like I need to spread my wings. I need to stop limiting myself. So I felt like that was a sign from God, especially that scholarship, because it was so funny. I literally was like, OK, you know what? I'm going to this California school. I'll deal with the loans. I'm going there. And that same day, two hours later, 
I was like, God, that's where I'm going. I put it in prayers. Same day, two hours later, I get an email with my scholarship. And I was like, okay, hold up. It was like everything was pointing to going to Pittsburgh. And I was like, that's where I'm going because it, I realized that me going to Pittsburgh would allow, alleviate all the money for the first time in my life. I get to go to medical school. I get to go to school and not have to think about money, right? Like one of the main reasons why I chose my undergrad was because I got a full scholarship. And it was so nice to be able to leave my undergrad with no debt, right? And so to be able to go to medical school and leave with minimal debt, minimal or if no debt, like that is a big deal. It means that when I start residency, I could have a fresh start. I'm able to choose whatever specialty that I want to do because I don't have to think about money. Right. Because I know a lot of people will go into like because of all the loans and how expensive medical school is, is that they end up having to do like specialties like surgery. Right. Because they pay so much money, but they're not really passionate about surgery. They're just doing it so it can help them pay off their debt. I don't want to do that. Now that I'm going to the school, like I don't have to think about that. I can think about I don't know what I want to do, but now I feel like the world's my oyster. I can choose whatever I want to do. If I want to do primary care, I can do primary care. If I want to do surgery, I don't want to do surgery. But if I wanted to, I could like, I don't have to think about money in the back of my mind because I'll be leaving medical school with like minimal debt. And that was very important to me. And so that's, that was honestly in a nutshell is honestly why I chose Pittsburgh. And I'll definitely do a sit down more in depth on like everything, my whole journey, what happened, how I chose it. But I'm just like so excited. So your girl is going to the East Coast. If you're from the East Coast, give me some, you know, advice on what I should bring, what outfits I'm supposed to be wearing there, what I should, you know, what type of winter wears I need to invest in. Cause you guys know I'm from California. It's always sunny here. Well, lately it has been super foggy. So give me some like, you know, outfit inspirations, but your girl is going to the East Coast. Watch out, a new hot girl scholars coming in town, East Coast. But I'm really happy. And so, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Okay, let's get into the vlog. Guys, my package is here. My sweaters came in the mail. Remember I told you all in like my two, my video to like two videos before about how I ordered um, the sweaters for my medical school and I had to get them custom made because they didn't have anything that said school of medicine. All the sweaters just say University of Pittsburgh, but it doesn't really say anything like school of medicine. And you already know, like I worked hard. I worked hard to go to get, to get into medical school. I worked hard, so best believe I'm gonna need a sweater that says School of Medicine because I'm not just going to the university, okay? I'm not just going to University of Pittsburgh. I'm going to the medical school and people need to know because I'm gonna make being a medical student my whole personality. You guys are gonna be so sick of me because it's literally gonna be my identity. Someone's gonna be like, what's your name? Oh, I go to University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Oh, what do you like to do? Oh, I go to University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I go to University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. What's your favorite food? Oh, I go to University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Literally, it's gonna be my whole personality. I wanted to do an unboxing of the sweaters um, and then a little try on haul because today I'm actually gonna do a photo shoot um, for my medical school reveal Instagram post. And you guys already know me, I love doing photo shoots. It's like fun, I love dressing up. Dressing up is like the best way to romanticize your life. Like if you ever wanna like romanticize your life, just dress up act like a character, do a photo shoot, post it, I swear, you'll be very happy. I'm like really bad at opening packages. I feel like I would make my life easier if I just used scissors, but I refuse to make things, I refuse to make my life easier. looks like so it says University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine oh my god this sweater is so cute it actually fits I kind of liked that it got medium because I have long arms so it fits perfectly um, but I love this so much wait uh, this probably might be like what I wear every single day to school did you guys ever do that like when I was in college and I got something to like Long Beach I bought like Kelsey. I love buying school wear. Like I don't know what it is, 
like I might be very cringy because I think there's a thing that says like oh if you always buy you know if you're if you wear your school gear at school like you're cringy well guess what I was that cringy person because I bought a bunch of like Long Beach wear and I wore it every single day like it was my whole personality I mean even in my videos like I'm pretty sure you see me wearing like my Cal State Long Beach like sweaters often. They're also really comfortable. So get ready to be sick of me because this is all I'm going to be wearing once school starts. Or honestly, even now. But I love it so much. And I love that it has like the logo. I'm going to medical school. 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 Okay. I am going to wear this checkered skirt, flannel, this is not even a flannel, I'm sorry, collar shirt, and then put this jacket over it so it's giving like a schoolgirl look. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looked like. This is my outfit. Um, I don't know where to do the pictures yet. I wanted to do it at a park, but now I'm kind of getting too lazy. I'm thinking like, should I just do my pictures in front of my house? I was went online trying to get like inspiration and I can't really find anything about like when people do like med school reveals like where they take it they usually take it at the school but obviously like i'm in la i'm not gonna fly to pittsburgh to take my photos so i don't know where i should do that i'm like should i do it in front of my like yard Today is my medical school reveal dinner. I am so excited! Oh my god. I'm so excited to have this dinner and finally reveal to my closest friends where I'm going to medical school. Some, I'm having a dinner with my closest friends, but some of my other friends that I'm really close to who made such a big impact on my medical school journey are unable to make it. Some of them don't even live in California and then others are working and they couldn't get the day off which I'm sad about but we're gonna do our own celebration together and some I already did like a separate celebration with them but I'm just so so excited to be surrounded by people who made such a big impact on my medical school journey friends that motivated me supported supported me never let me give up to be able to have a dinner with them and tell them where I'm finally going to medical school and just kind of thank them for everything that they have done for me the past couple years some of them 10 years some of them 12 years my sisters are going all my life so I'm really excited I just got the call that my cake is ready so I stopped at Starbucks gonna get a little celebratory drink also this Starbucks was the Starbucks that I would study for my classes and study for my MCAT at so it's kind of like Ah! I'm gonna get my drink. It's a medical school reveal dinner. I'm at the Starbucks I used to study at and I'm getting a drink. Kind of like a full circle moment. Can I please get the mocha cookie crumble um, frappuccino? Can I please get a grande? Okay, grande uh, mocha cookie crumble. What up? Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Day. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So refreshing. I love it. I don't want to ruin it, but this is how the cake looks like. You can't really see it, but I promise at the party, I'll go ahead and show you guys how the cake looks. So I also at the grocery store went ahead and got these envelopes. And basically in these envelopes, I'm going to put the school that I'm going to and hand it to my friends. And then basically as the dinner goes, when I'm ready to announce it, I'm gonna have them, you know, open their envelope and there they'll find out what school I'm going to. And Pittsburgh's colors are blue and gold. So I went ahead and got blue envelopes and like, this is yellow, but I think it's past it's gold. Um, gold's like envelopes. So yeah, that's, really, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and basically work on creating the cards to put inside the envelope and then after that I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready for my party because I want to take pictures before and I have like it's 4 30 right now their dinner's at 6 30 I need to compensate for traffic so I'll probably leave my house like 5 45 ish 
especially because it's a Saturday, my party's in Hollywood. So there's definitely gonna be traffic because like the Hollywood Bowl, there's always something going on there. So I need to compensate for that. So basically I have like an hour and 15 minutes to get ready. I wanna take a shower because I feel so sweaty with everything that I went through today. I'm just being out in the sun, I feel very sweaty. So I wanna take a shower. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get ready really quickly. And then also, we're going clubbing after the dinner, which I'm so excited about. And so I need to find out what I'm gonna be wearing to the club. Also, I need to charge my phone. Oh my God, I have so much to do. Okay guys, I'm running late, but this is the dress I'm gonna to wear to my dinner. I already did my makeup, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this dress on real quickly and then go ahead and print out the cards. Guys, I am literally have like 10 minutes to do all of this because I need to make it to my dinner and I don't wanna be late to it. So I'm gonna put this dress on and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how I look um, when I have the whole final look put together. I'm gonna go 